Yo, it's going to be back 340. Uh, before I start, I had a guy PM me, asking why I use the Chikoti mat so much. Well, fucking Chikoti, I mean, it's my favorite mat. And I got to jump. But, uh, if you didn't like it, I mean, I don't know. I have to find it in my closet, but whatever. So, I guess I use this mat. You know, I hate this mat. It took me a while to find it, but it's been in my closet for, like, I think since I got it. So, I don't know. If you guys actually want this, it's actually mint. I'll sell it to you. I really don't give a fuck. This mat's so annoying. But anyway, um... Let's talk about some random stuff. Uh, actually, I want to talk about why. Actually, it's not why, but I'm gonna ask a question. Do you think Yu-Gi-Oh is a drug? I personally think no. I feel things like I feel say it's addicting. I don't. Know, I really don't know how they can say that. I mean, um, after all, it's a hobby. You know, like, like the thing about it. Um, if someone's a hobby, like you can't really put like all your time to it. Like it doesn't become a hobby anymore. You know what I mean, like it, it's it's weird. Um. I actually just had, like, I was talking to my friends, he sort of stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh, um, yeah, so, we went to a CVS, uh, he, I guess someone bought some, uh, like, cruise cards, and pretty much, um, we just saw the, what's that called, um, the Star Deck, the XE one, and the, the Dark World Structure Deck, and there was a Proton Shockwave pack, and pretty much I told him, you know, to mess around with him, yo, just buy one, buy a, a pack, because this guy, every time he buys a pack, he pulled the best stuff, like, he pulled a Brionic, he pulled a, a Pod Duality, he pulled Dark Trick Fighter. This guy used to play a lot, but he just stopped playing. So I said, you know, just for fun, you know, pull one, you never know. And he was like, nah, 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 because he said if he, if he, you know, pulled a good card, I'll, he said he's going to, you know, start playing again to be addicting. And, I don't know, I thought that was weird. But, um, me personally, I don't think this game's addicting, like I said before. Um, it's really a matter of, like, uh, it's honestly a matter of, I'm not going to say willpower, because that's more for, like, really really digging stuff, but honestly, if I want to sell everything here, I could really do it. I could really stop playing at any time because I have other stuff to do, you know. I go to school, I have a job, you know, random stuff. Um, but I guess for some people, they, I, I don't know, maybe there's something in Yu-Gi-Oh, maybe it's not Yu-Gi-Oh itself, maybe it's like, I guess, uh, the winning or, you know, uh, the interaction with other people, maybe, maybe that draws players in, but, um, I don't know, but like I said, if, like if for me, you know, tomorrow I can sell all my cards, sell everything I have, you related, and no joke, it really won't bother me. Like honestly, I play like just cause like sometimes I have nothing else to do. If you know, like <laughs> like it's there's no finals. I'm actually in uh, I'm in break right now, so I already have I don't have that much to do right now, but play Yu Gi Oh. I don't know, go into another Call of Duty coma, but um. <laughs> But, um, what did I say? Yeah, um, yeah, if, if I got rid of all my stuff, it really wouldn't bother me that much. Um, what did I say? Now, it's on sort of the second part. Uh, if you go, is it really addicting, you know, and it really has to stop, what is a good time to stop? I mean, to me, honestly, I see people that's like 50 that play. There's a lot of people on YouTube, um, that play. They're like, they, you know, they're older, like, uh, say, like, a Sarah 13, or, like, a WK Dad, you know, they play, they're older, you know what I mean, no, no one gets that, but, if for me, personally, I don't think, you don't have to stop playing Yu-Gi-Oh, if you like it, you know, why not, um, let's say, when people say, like, it's a children's card game, that's, that's probably one of the stupidest things ever, if it was a children's card game, Konami wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't make cards that people were gonna price at, like, Fucking eighty dollars or like one fifty and all that shit. You know what I mean? Like, the game is clearly made for adults. You know what I mean? They say kids just to alert them, have pretty pictures, but now this game's for adults. <laughs> but um, I don't even know. It's some of these random stuff. To be honest here, um, I have actually a lot of videos here. I actually have a list of stuff. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, I have some random shit. You guys can like it, but um, yeah. If you guys like this, please definitely, you know, <laughs> like it. <laughs> and uh, I'm actually trying to get a lot of sales. I'm thinking about doing a contest. So if you guys can subscribe, that'd be that'd be pretty amazing. That'd be I'd be happy. <laughs> but uh, I'm actually trying to get to at least 100 subscribers. I don't want to say for New Year's because that's a kind of stretch. But definitely before say February, I want to have some subscribers, and then I want to do a contest. I want to give away some something really good. Um, I really don't know. But I will think some, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll do like a random, uh, like,
like pack opening something and say I pull a rabbit, I will give away a rabbit. Like no, like on some real shit, I really would do something like that. I have done stuff like that before, so it really wouldn't matter to me. But um, yeah, if you guys like I said, if you guys like this video or other videos, you will see. Subscribe to me, you'll get definitely more content like this. So yeah, um, click like, like and subscribe, and yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. Back before we sign out, peace.